Thanks for joining us for part two of using a Bell South 100 incubator. We've already to told you about setting the thermometer at the right height in the incubator, level with the top of the egg, adjusting the thermostat to uh, 103 degrees when the lamp switches off. The temperature will fluctuate very slightly around that, but that's normal in the incubator, and so it would be under the broody bird as well as she moves the eggs around under her body. Now we're ready to put the eggs in the incubator. Now the Bell South 100 is a manual turn incubator when it's used in its full capacity. It will hold approximately 100 eggs when it's used as a manual turn. And you simply place all the eggs around. You can cram it as full as you like of, of uh, eggs in the bottom or you can do as few as you like. But if you do just 10 eggs, it's not a, a bad idea to get a piece of shoelace or a piece of, of uh, Venetian blind cord and put it in a little loop around to keep all those eggs together. It's a bit easier to turn the eggs when they can't all roll away from you. Best to mark the eggs with a line on top and a cross on the bottom so when you turn the eggs, as you need to twice a day, you'll be able to turn all the lines up in the morning, all the crosses up in the evening. Okay, so you're going to set out to uh, turn the eggs like that and that must be done from the beginning of incubation right up until 18 days. Some people worry about taking the lid off the incubator and saying, oh, that'll damage the eggs, but the broody bird does get off the nest every day for at least 5, 10 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes. There is no damage can happen to the eggs just because you're, you've opened the incubator to turn the eggs. Of course, don't answer the phone when that happens because, look, you're liable to leave the lid off and then go and answer the phone and come back and find you've left the eggs get cold because you talked for a bit long. So, make sure that it's only for a minute or two you open the eggs and you can't cause any damage. The water in the incubator should last approximately a week and a half and uh, if it's uh, only lasting for barely a week, then it means it's a bit dry in the incubator. If it lasts for two and a half weeks, then it indicates it's a bit wet in the incubator. However, in the next, in the next uh, video, we'll talk about how you measure the humidity, how you monitor that humidity during incubation. Thanks very much.